when you talk about the perfect race car, which would be the perfect race car, depending on where you want to compete. It's a different car for different uses. You would like it the maximum performance for the minimum use of resources and the minimum pollution. You always have limitations, you always have compromises, and you start drawing. If you design a car for a given formula or for a given series, you start from the rule book. In your mind eye, you know what shape the car will have to achieve that level of performance. We're trying to create a vehicle for a circuit racing. So, you'll have a characteristic for acceleration, cornering, braking, and, and so on. My belief is you have to have electric propulsion because that is the future. So, any kind of propulsion you have, you need to use the least amount of energy and waste the least amount of energy. In the past, people used to say that to have more power, you have to add CC. Well, that's no longer true. So, the truism of what we believed before was good for motorsport is not longer there. In terms of aerodynamics, I believe that we will need uh, clean shapes. You, you notice that this car, for example, haven't got wings. When you add a wing to create downforce, you add in drag, so it's inefficient. You see that this car will have no mirrors because putting a mirror outside of a car creates turbulence and drag. Nowadays, the technology and the future, the camera technology will be such that you, you can have cameras around the car and you can have a 360 peripheral vision inside your cockpit of what's going on around you. So you don't need mirrors. Mirrors is a thing of the past. The uh, uh, tires, what Dunlop are trying to introduce what they call the intelligent tire in terms of communication. I believe that with the same piece electric materials that we may use uh, in the laminate of a, a race car bodywork, that that could probably be applied on a tire as well because the tire is a composite material. So the tire not only will communicate what it's doing with the driver, the team and the public, it will also change its shape. Then you will have um, energy recovery systems that eventually will be at such a level you won't need brake discs anymore. You will be able to brake with the recovery systems or basically recover 100% of the, um, the energy that you, uh, you, you, you would be wasting by stopping the car. In terms of energy generation storage, at the moment we carry energy in the car. So my vision is that the racetrack of the future, the race cars will not carry energy in the car. We just have the motors, we'll have a small battery for um, just as a buffer of energy and the track will have induction charging all around the track. So you will be feeding the motors with electricity from the track. The car of the future the car of the distant future will use less energy, so the cars will be um, slicker and slicker, lighter and lighter, use less energy, to the point that we will have the same amount of fun with less use of energy and less damage to the environment, but the future will tell, we'll see.